We just arrived in LA and we're doing our first ever Adventures by Disney trip. Yeah, Disney is hosting us uh, to take their Disneyland Southern California Adventures by Disney trip. And uh, we get to go to Imagineering, we get to go to the studios, Walt Disney Studios. We get a tour of Disneyland, which includes going up into Walt Disney's apartment, apartment. above the I'm fire really station. Excited. We've never done yeah. any, we've been to the studios, we haven't done any of that other stuff. So come along, let's see how this goes. Californian about to pull in. <laughs> Exciting. First right. Adventures by Disney. Awesome. We're in California. Uh, Adventures by Disney guide. Met us outside where the car dropped us off. Got a little sign there you can see. And we're heading in to uh, check in. All right, we in the lobby here at the Grand Californian. We just want to let you guys know that everything we're doing is what you would do on Adventures by Disney trip. These aren't things that we got to do because we're media or anything. It's all stuff that when you sign up, you get to do. So anything we show you here uh, will be stuff that you can do uh, on an Adventures by Disney trip. They do pick you up a private driver from the airport. Um, you go straight to the hotel. Um, they check you in special. You don't have to go to the reservation. That's they're literally at somebody at the door that comes and gets you and takes you and sits you down and hands you everything. Yeah, we just sat down in the lobby with our two uh, Adventures by Disney guides that are going to be with us and for the whole tip They're trip. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they give you name tags. Yes. They tell you put your name on one name side on and one your side. favorite character on the other. And the character on the other. This is probably backwards. We're going to have to switch. <laughs> no, it, it flips it. Um, <laughs> okay. And uh, they give you all the details. They give you a little packet of information. Um, they give you tickets to the park, so we're getting ready to head into Disneyland. So room's not quite ready, and there's some fast passes already on our tickets. So they're good for everything except for Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're gonna have to wait for that one. Right. But uh, I think Radiator Springs Racers first. What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, I like that again. That's one of my favorite rides. So let's head out. Welcome to Racing. A champion needs speed and style. Luigi, give our friend your best. All right, we went to Disney, spent most of our day there, riding some rides with our fast passes, which was really My awesome. Three favorite rides. Yeah, three, so very happy. three of our favorite rides, and uh, had some lunch, and uh, we just met up with the group in the stairs. hotel. Yeah, stairs. <laughs> Step down the stairs. Um, and they give some instructions for how the next few days are going to go for the adventure by Disney. And now we're heading over to Disneyland to eat at Cafe Orleans in New Orleans Square. All right, we just had a great dinner at Port Orleans. So good. It was so good, but so filling. I am so I had Monte Cristo, beignets. Oh man, that was really good. Yeah, we're here now for Fantasmic. We got a special viewing area right up front. That's part of Adventures by Disney. So uh, then we're really gonna go back and go to bed because yeah, we got an early morning. We, we got up at 4 a.m. and uh, East Coast time. So. We'll uh, be back with more fun tomorrow. Be my heart's desire. Ah! Hey! It was dropped. My compass. It's fine now. Wait, do not lose this. We're so close that we're getting soaked. It's day two of our Adventures by Disney trip. 
and we had a good night's sleep. I did, didn't you? I'm pretty good. I'm, I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Yesterday I was zoning. I Catching like I up on our sleep from the, being open. on the West Coast and yeah. getting up early yesterday. Right, right. And I only had two hours sleep yesterday, so I was really out of it. So I feel much better today. Yeah, today's a better day. Um, although we did have fun yesterday. Yeah, we did. We made uh, the most of it. So this morning we're heading to a character breakfast, a storyteller cafe here at the hotel. Can you see them? They're shipping the... Oh, no. It's, it's, it's Dale. <laughs> Mini Mouse is out now. And let's look at some of the food here. This is our first time actually eating at this restaurant. Looks like there's lots of choices here. Of course, we've got Mickey Waffles. Everything you'd expect on a breakfast buffet and more. Somebody's reading your messages, Jackie. Oh, hey! <laughs> Like an omelet? Okay, here. You can have some of them. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Was that good? Is that delicious? <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Our guide is a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's another day here at Disneyland, right? <laughs> It's cereal milk. So it's, a, it's milk that's been soaked in a cereal and there's a straw built in so you can just drink the milk. I'm gonna try this. This is cinnamon toast crunch milk. So. It's flavored milk. It's pretty good. So it's like your cereal milk, like after your cereal? Yeah. yeah. If you like okay. drinking the milk after your cereal, you like this. It's not going to be five hours, but it will be at least a good oh, yeah, hour and yeah, a half, yeah. two hours to get up there depending on traffic. Oh, it's frozen. Oh. I got it already. Is it? Yeah. Oh. We got it. <laughs> one movie, one movie. Frozen. It's frozen. And what's the title of the movie? Love is an open door. 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 All right, we're on the bus heading to Walt Disney Studios and we're playing Disney trivia. All right, third song. <laughs> Please stay together as a group, and remember, the Walt Disney Studios is a working studio, so please, as we go along, we might see some celebrities walking around, if ever. Remember that they are here for work and not to do some meeting, so let us respect you know, that they are here for their work. Okay. Alright, we're here on the Walt Disney Studios lot. It's a beautiful day here today. The weather is absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's great. There's yeah. a topiary Mickey behind us, and behind yeah. that is a commissary. We'll be we'll eating lunch, lunch there, there later. I'm excited. That was closed when we were here last time. The first stop is, let me swing around, the store. Yeah. But we're not going to buy too much, right? Uh, I don't know. You have to carry it if you buy it. Oh, that's true. But, uh, so in the studio store, it's mostly Disney store merchandise, but... We have this section here and a section over here that is just for studios, the studios logo things. And then in the back here they have the employee center where you have to be a Disney cast member to buy anything in there. Property here in Burbank in the late 1930s or so. We did bring two buildings over with us from the Hyperion Studios. One was the Hyperion Bungalow, which is just behind us here. This was the original know as Walt Disney Imagineering. They did a lot of the construction for the original Disneyland Park right here on the studio lot. The other building that came with us here was the studio store. Now the studio store was the original schoolhouse as you will. 
Um, Walt was very passionate about teaching his animators the art of Disney animation because it was different than anybody else was doing out there. So welcome to the uh, now home to the Sherman Brothers stage. We dedicated this to the Sherman Brothers last summer when we released a Christopher Robin movie. Um, the, as you probably know, the Sherman Brothers have given so much contribution to us over the years, so we definitely wanted to honor them with that glory. This used to be called Stage A, and what made Stage A so important and special was Stage A was the sound recording stage. So all your uh, animation film, your live action films, the sound was recorded right in this facility here. So The Reluctant Dragon is a classic film, but what he did is that right before showing The Reluctant Dragon, he had a very popular guy called um, named Robert Benchley do a little tour looking for Walt Disney, trying to like sell the Reluctant Dragon story to him. And you know who Robert Benchley is? Father of uh, Peter Benchley. And Peter Benchley is who? Jaws. The author of Jaws, that is right. And this right here was a prop from that movie and it's very, very part of our history. The, the real reason why we know it's a prop from the movie is if you follow these, you're not gonna get there. And this is Pluto's corner, um, dedicated to Pluto for his 70th birthday. And if you can see right here, just like over in Hollywood, they do the handprint and footprint. They also did a footprint for Pluto, but only three. Uh, it's here for business. Uh, yeah. Look at the theater where we sometimes come to screen some of the movies that we review for you guys. And then over here is the animation building, which is the old animation building uh, now used for offices, but we can't film inside. Uh, so we'll see you when we get out. And we're heading over to the archives. The archives has a display from the haunted mansion here in the lobby. So we got the old bride. Here's one of Walt's original multi-plane cameras. And upstairs are some marble offices. If we could only go up there and peek around. We're heading into archives, but unfortunately, no video allowed. There's the uh, main entrance to the studios. We're in the Legends Plaza with the plaques of all the legends. And there's a, uh, a partner statue. Down here you can see the Roy and Minnie statue. And there's a statue representing the award that they get when they uh, win the Disney Legends Award. And up here we have all the dwarves holding up the building because the studios are really built on the profits from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, so that's why they're holding up the building up there. And here's Jackie taking some photos. This is so cool. All the details on it. You can see Walt. You can even see Walt's ring. Up there's where Walt Disney's office is and used to be uh, this tour is not going in there but we did a d23 uh, tour last fall of it let us go in there and right, we just got this important ticket lunch lunch Yay. <laughs> All right, we're in the uh, Walt Disney commissary studios very busy right now lunchtime so I've got a uh, real tofu wrap special things here is they have something that Walt used to like, the same recipe of Walt's chili. So let's try it. Mm. Alright, we just finished with our tour of Walt Disney Studios. I'm over to Imagineering now, but the studios is really fun. You guys should definitely do that. Either uh, D23 does a tour and also this Adventures by Disney does one. Uh, and but going into the archives is amazing and eating at the commissary. The chili was amazing. But that's it. just to see how that's a, it's a working place. You're literally just eating lunch at where Yeah, with all the everybody. All you know the who, that who work knows here. you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then a little bit further down we will be pulling up on 1401 that is home to Walt Disney Imagineering. Well, good news and bad news, guys. We made it here to Imagineering, but uh, they've said no filming and no photos inside either. So Yeah, but well, it's a unique experience because not a lot of people actually get to do this. So this is a unique Adventures by Disney experience. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the only way to do it. So yeah. we will report to you what we saw when we get back the best we can. Unfortunately, 
I kept wanting to get my camera out. There were like, so many cool take things. A picture of that. The first thing we walked through was this hallway that's like a monorail. Yeah, it looks like you're in a monorail. It looks like you're in the neon monorail. Neon on the wall, just a windows. Hallway. It is so. It was really it was, cool. Yeah, it was really cool. And then we went down an art hallway, the John Hinch Hall, I think it was called, yeah. with all different kinds of art on the wall, and learned right. some tidbits. And then I think next was the. Um, uh, we saw some models. It was like a model shop. We saw a model for the new Frozen ride. It's coming to Tokyo Disney right? Sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we found out that that's going to be almost the same as uh, Frozen Ever After at Epcot. Right. That's an, even a boat ride like it is right. there. Um, but we also saw, he didn't specifically point it out, but we could see in the background a uh, model for the uh, Zootopia land that's coming to Shanghai. That's and that was yeah. cool. And, uh, in the background, I saw some black uh, roller coaster track, and I'm like, "Oh, I bet that's for um, for Guardians of the Guardians, Galaxy." Yeah. But it, I asked uh, our Imagineer that led us through it was what is his name? Dave Fisher. Dave Fisher. Yeah. Dave Fisher. He was a great guy, and he like oh. openly answered questions. Like I'm like, "What is that track? Is that Guardians?" He's like, "No, that's for uh, rock and roller coaster." He's like, "Aerosmith contract is running up soon, and we're looking at other options." Of what we can do that and we're like oh you know that's been rumored for years yeah. and then next we went into um a sculpting what was that called the sculpting hall or yeah, yeah. it was a big room with all busts all around and little maquettes and everything and uh yeah, there was so many so of many, them like there's dream finder's head and then My, there's clint eastwood's head and yeah. from different rides and attractions right and then we went into um uh, like a sound studio, it was almost like a 360, they could do 360 projections where they test like 360 uh, videos. It's like um, VR without the without the VR goggles. Well, no, this was the first part where we saw Mystic Manor. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it was just, a, they were showing off the sound system. So right, right, they right, showed right. like a video they took of Mystic Manor. Well, the video wasn't great, uh, just up on the screen, but the sound system was the, the real audio with the seven uh, yeah, all around you. You could hear the audio. Sound. It's, it's and that was cool. sound room. Yeah, yeah. And then they took us to what she was talking about, right, the right, VR, right. like across the street to uh, what they call the dish. You wear 3D glasses, you step in this room. It's almost like the holodeck right. on uh, Star Trek because <laughs> really the cool. room just comes alive and you're walking around. And they can switch the scene, right? When you're walking around, you're like, whoa, where yeah, am I now? Yeah, we were walking around um, the hub was, and all of a sudden we flew up in the air. I flew up in the air. It was like being Tinkerbell. It was really cool because we were uh, uh, literally on top of the castle and you could walk out and you were over. You could look down over the grounds. And I think that was it. We walked back across the street and went to the gift shop and you bought the yeah, shirt. Yeah, I bought the shirt. I love <laughs> and it. All right, we're now at dinner. We're going to eat it. The, what is it, the Tam O'Shanter? Yes, That's it's cool. famous because all the a lot of the Imagineers like to eat here and Walt actually ate here. So yeah, Walt ate like, here yeah. and I guess uh, they didn't used to have a cafeteria or Imagineering, so right. they'd all so come here for this lunch. this was the place that they hung out. Alright, I got the fish and chips and Jackie has... I got the prime rib. It, look? it looks delicious. The mashed potatoes and the cream spinach. But if you look right here, you see what a picture. Uh, what I loved it, we would have, you know, you know, like throwing some of the ideas for Disneyland and for feature movies as well to our very and if you look right, it look really, 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 really little tender here. You can see some carvings because in the last D23, they did a scavenger hunt here, and that is one of the clues. Is go here to the restaurant and look for these carvings. Oh, that's funny. Very cool, huh? Yeah, this is like a, like a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah. Here's a photo from 1960 at the restaurant with Walt Disney, with the designer and founder of the restaurant. All right, we're at the Griffith Park merry-go-round. Oh, the and if you don't know why this is historical, one, it's a really old uh, merry-go-round. What is it, 1920 20 something or something? 20, yeah. And then the story 22, is, 22? 20, I don't know, Anyways, old. Old. <laughs> <laughs> the story is that this is where Walt came up with the idea for Disneyland. So he was sitting on the bench uh, outside this merry-go-round watching his daughters go around and around. And he's like, there should be a place where parents and kids can have fun together. And that's how he came up with the idea for Disneyland, sitting so right it's here. It's a so. pretty epic story because this actually started Disneyland. Yep. Pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go ride. It was one of the original benches that was here when Walt sat here. 
There's also one at Disneyland and a few other places. So they don't know which bench Walt actually sat on when he had the idea for Disneyland. <laughs> All right, good morning. It's day three of our adventures by Disney. Um, one thing that isn't so magical is we had to get up at uh, five o'clock. Yeah, to five be here something. We had to get down in the lobby but at 6 10 a.m. We're on our way to something we don't even know what we're going to do, so it's a, an adventure and it's exciting. And yeah. we'll see you soon. And our guide Christian has his uh, Russell ears on <laughs> and flag. Adventure is out there. <laughs> <Mount>. <laughs> Getting ready to head right down the middle of Main Street, USA before the park opens. Pretty awesome. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate having you all here. Welcome to the Disney World. Welcome to Disneyland. I hope you're having a great, great time. And it was really great meeting you all. But something special for all of you. That's right. He does. So before we all say goodbye, okay. <laughs> it's the walking. Yay! There you go. Oh, it says Walt's much. World in this pin because today we're experiencing Walt's World throughout the day in this magic, right? That's right. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we usually get some groups as well too. There you go. They said this is too hot for them. We are heading to breakfast at the Plaza Inn. It's a breakfast buffet. Oh, and look, somebody is here to greet us. Good morning. We just found out a couple of fun facts about the restaurant. Up at the front, the actual porch of this restaurant is one from a house that uh, Walt Disney saw and liked and he bought it, had him cut off the front porch and put it here. So that's pretty cool. And this area back here where we're dining is the, uh, where, where Walt used to have special parties. So this is right where Walt Disney himself used to dine. Look, we got Mickey waffles and new Mickey shaped eggs. Oh, Bob, we're up early, but at least we get a good breakfast. We got a good breakfast and a hug. Oh, Yummy! I know. There we go. Now we're doing it right. <laughs> Bit. If you look back in the busing area here, you see this uh, drawing here. It's a concept art for the restaurant that Dorothea Redmond did. She's also the one who did the paintings and the stretching room. Cool. All right, just finished breakfast, and now we're going to ride a couple of rides. So we split up into two groups. We're headed to Peter Pan, while the other group's headed to the Matterhorn. Bonus ride, we're doing the carousel here. I don't think this one will be as fast as the one yesterday. No, but that's okay, we just ate, so that's, that's alright. That's right. true. Okay Alright, it's time to ride the Matterhorn, but Jackie 
is sitting this one out. It's a little bit rough. So if you have a bad back or anything, probably might not want to ride it, but uh, I'm going to tough it out. All right, now we are headed back by Indiana Jones, but we're headed backstage. So we can't film anything once we get back there. No photos, no video backstage as usual. So we'll let you know how it went and what we got to do. All right, we just got uh, back on stage. We got to see in the maintenance bay at Indiana Jones. Was that was cool. It was cool to stand next to the actual ride vehicle and realize how big it is. I mean, you yeah, know when, it's big, but to see it from that vantage Yeah, when you get on it, you're up high. You're actually up like <laughs> four feet off the ground right, from right. where the vehicle touches the ground. I so we were standing that, yeah. down below. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. And uh, one thing we learned was that there's actually seven different ride profiles. So when you ride it, it might be slightly different than your last right. ride, you, which I've never know, right. never noticed before. I, so. Yeah, now I'm gonna it really, must be really pay subtle. attention. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna really pay attention to this and be like, oh, was that different? <laughs> and then we also went and saw one of the horses that they have here. Yeah. Um, that uh, this horse, a particular horse, does the uh, headless horseman here at the park yeah. too. So oh, that was cool. Absolutely beautiful horse named Dallas. <laughs> and um, now we're headed up to Walt Disney's apartment up here above the fire station. So we weren't allowed to take photos or video in the apartment, so we're I'm gonna give you a- I'm still crying because I, that's been a dream of mine to go up there. It was really and cool. Made it. And yeah, to be where he was actually staying when he was, was at Disney Land is amazing. And this pole right here, this fire pole, it doesn't anymore, but it used to go right up into the apartment so the kids could slide down when they wanted to go. But so it's um, not, it doesn't matter. They took it out because there. some kid climbed up into his apartment one and, time uh, while he was up there sitting there. there. Yeah, it so. kind of surprised him when he was relaxing. So it was, it was walled up. So get everything. There's the light that remains lit in the remembrance of Walt in his apartment. And there's the food way. Right, we're headed over to Disney California Adventure. Where we're going to have some free time and then we're going to meet up at noon for a couple more backstage opportunities. All right, they gave us some free time and they gave us some fast passes, but the fast passes they give us aren't good for guardians. So Jackie and I have annual passes with Max Pass, so we elected to come into the park with those passes today so we could ride Guardians of the Galaxy. So we just cut off that and uh, we're on our own for lunch too. We are headed back to stage again for Radiator Springs Racers to see how that works. But, uh, again, no photos or video backstage. All right, we just got done with our backstage tour of Radiator Springs Racers. That was amazing, very informative. Yeah, it was really cool. We got to see where they work on the vehicles. Got to see a computer that tracks all the vehicles as they go around the track. It is so high tech. I didn't realize you don't realize it when you ride it and just see all the how they you know work. And yeah, I found out it's amazing. actually powered by the back wheels. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. There's like a, another tip. If you start out winning the race, you're going to lose the race. That's what they told us. But, uh, we'll see. We're riding we're, it right we're gonna, now. We're gonna, yeah. <laughs> so now we're heading off to actually ride it and uh, test that theory. Alright, so we got to do something really, really cool. We uh, got to ride Soren, which is anyone can do. But then we went backstage. We kind of went downstairs behind the screen. The screen's like a big bolt. They let us touch the screen. They let us touch the screen. And it's metal. Yeah, it's I a metal it was, mesh. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like parachute material, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, and you can it has little holes in it, so this the uh, speakers are behind it. Yeah. So you can hear the sounds and stuff. So we were standing down there, and we could look through the screen and see the audience going up. So, yeah. See the and we could see the projection works. on the screen from behind it. And it was actually went through the screen on the wall. On the wall behind us, yeah. So that was really cool. 
So, um, and then they told us some little facts about the ride. There's actually a Captain Jack Sparrow hidden in the ride. If you look on the beach, I guess one of the little characters He's is him. He's very, very tiny. It's hard to tell it's him, but they're telling it's it's him. So it's really I think it's at the very start of the beach scene, if you look yeah, down. Yeah. So <laughs> there's also three hidden Mickeys. There's the balloons, the fireworks, and some rocks on the beach. Right. So that was really cool. Now we um, have free time. So we're gonna go rest in the hotel room for a little bit. And we're gonna have dinner. Dinner at Flo's V8 tonight. Cafe yeah. in Cars Land. Mm -hmm. All right, we're at Flo's, we got our dinner. Jackie got the uh, fried chicken. Looks pretty good. Yes, it does. Glass of wine. I got the uh, club sandwich, the sangria. Yeah, sangria. And uh, the dinner, their lunch was not included with uh, Adventures by Disney. But the dinner, uh, dinner is. is, so let's dig in. All right, it's the final event on the final night of our adventure by Disney. And we're gonna go see World of Color in a special viewing area. Walt Disney presents... finished with our adventures by Disney trip we had an amazing time yeah it was a lot of fun of course Disney sent us on it but it uh, I looked up the prices and it's about what was it two thousand three hundred and seventy dollars sixty nine yeah, starts at yes. that per person but you um, get a lot for that that's yeah. like hotel stays that's tours that you can't normally take four, plus it's four, four days, days park, park tickets, tickets. yeah so the backstage tours this is the only way to do it um, the going on Walt apartment as far as I know that's the only way to do it another tour used to do it doesn't do it anymore right. um, the Imagineering tour nobody does no, I don't that think you couldn't anybody does that. and I don't that's know how amazing. much that would cost um, that was worth it to me right there but that's yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> and we had food included and we had our travel we had to worry about anything right it so, was all taken care of yeah. I mean you just show up and when they tell you to and you just go they do everything yeah that worry-free travel to me was worth it right there so I know everybody doesn't have uh, you know four four thousand five thousand dollars to spend but if you do it's worth it. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. it's, it's, well, uh, if it's you're, a really if you're cool a theme trip. park geek and you love, you know, Disney and theme parks and an Imagineering, just to be inside that Imagineering building, to me was yeah, amazing. Yeah, that it was, was cool. just so cool. Yep. <laughs> so now on to our next part of our trip, which is uh, Disney Cruise. Be sure to look for that vlog. Mm -hmm.